Good morning, everybody. Ainsley here on another beautiful South Florida morning. You might be able to hear the birds chirping in the background. But I'm here today to bring you a half hour full body bar class. I'm out on my back patio, and the only thing I have additionally as far as workout tools are our bender ball, along with just light two pound weights. Now, if you don't have either of these at home, no worries, because I'll certainly show you modifications where you don't have to use them. In place of weights, sometimes we use just cans we might have in our pantry, beans or soup cans. And the ball, well, we don't necessarily have to have it, but I'll tell you exactly how you can use your lower body without it. I've also got my hydration, so I have my water here, just in case I need a sip of water throughout the practice. And then the only other thing I have, you'll see to my left, and to your right is my patio chair. It's a good height to hold on to for any of the lower body exercises we might be doing. So grab a chair. It's probably about hip height to shoulder height for you to naturally be able to hold on to. Let's start our warm up. Taking your feet about hip distance apart parallel, take a look at your toes and go ahead and just pull your toes up and back down. Lift and lower your toes. Now notice I do have bar socks on helps me to grip the floor a little bit. It's also protecting my feet on my patio floor, which has a little bit of the grip, so you don't slip and slide when it gets wet. The next time you have your toes up, hold them up, and let the big toe only just tap the floor. Big toe only tapping, spreading the other toes apart. And then go ahead and let the, all the toes stay up, and pinky toe only taps the floor. Now take a look down at your toes. Notice that the other toes are wanting to go along with that pinky toe. We call that separation anxiety. And let's alternate the big toe to the baby toe, big toe, baby toe. So we start with a warm up on our feet just to articulate through our toes since we use our toes and our feet a lot in bar. And then take all 10 toes and grip the earth and release. Go ahead and grip and release. If you look down at your toes, you're gonna notice you're white knuckling the toes a little bit. Give me two more right here. Good, and one more. And then relax your toes. Just simply roll through your ankles, pressing the bottom of your foot, the metatarsal bones, the landing pad of your foot into the floor, bringing now a little bit more movement into your ankle joint. And then we just speed that up a little bit. And now relax that movement. Go ahead and take your feet a little bit wider. Release your hands if you're holding on and give me 10 squats. So as you squat down and up, make sure your tailbone is going back. Knees hovering over your foot. Just warming up your thighs a little bit. Give me four more. Here's four. Three, two, and one. Bring your feet together. Open your feet to first position and close. Go ahead and open and close. Now as you open your feet, you're not trying to muscle them up and move them up. Just from your glutes and from your hips, go ahead and open your feet. So if you were to take your hands on your buttocks, you're going to feel the work and where that movement originates from. Let's hold them open on this next one. Go ahead and releve up and back down. Now as you lift and lower, you're doing a calf raise, you're squeezing energetically into your center. So you're not supinating or pronating out on any way through the foot, keeping all the energy up your midline. And on the next one, let's stay lifted and just pulse it up, up. Like you have a string in your head taking you straight up to the sky. And then lower your heels. Go ahead and close and open your feet one more time. So we're gonna work on warming up the lower body a little bit. And then we'll do a little upper body work. Kind of go back and forth through upper and lower body to bring some warmth and blood flow throughout the body consistently. On the next time, bring your feet in, hold them in, go ahead and rise and lower. Again, squeezing energetically into your center, lifting and lowering, warming up the calves. On the next one, stay lifted. Let's try and find balance for a moment. If you're holding on, release your left arm and then your right, and then just raise your arms up and back down. Keep squeezing into your center. Now if you fall back down, no big deal. Just rise up, squeeze into the body. Always practicing a little bit of balance, which bar certainly challenges you with. 
One more time with the arms all the way up and back down, and then release back down. Let's go back into your first position, a natural first position, plie and straighten. Now, as a reminder with your plies, you wanna make sure your tailbone stays to the floor, shoulders relaxed and down, and you're gazing just straight ahead. Neutral spine, nothing being forced, only plie as low as your body will naturally go without breaking its form. We'll do two more like this. Adding on right here, go ahead and plie, heels lift, releve, and drop. Plie, heels lift, releve, and drop. Plie, heels, releve, and drop. Plie, heels, releve, and drop. One more time, plie, heels, releve, and drop. Let's reverse that movement. Releve, plie, heels down, and straighten. Releve, plie, heels down, and straighten. Now, if you're doing this exercise and you're feeling your knees at all, you might just want to take your feet a little bit higher, uh, wider. Releve, plie, heels down, and straighten. Two more. One more time. And then straighten your legs out. Bring your heels together and just come up into kind of a half releve. So you're not way up high, about half of them. We're changing our count on the plie. Take it down, two, and lift, two. We've slowed it down. Feet now turned out to a comfortable level for your body. Remember, always, if something doesn't feel right, it just might not be right for you. So find that modification that will work. Some can go a little bit lower than others. Just make sure you're maintaining that nice, neutral spine. Down, two, and lift. Both hands might hold onto the chair. If you want to really challenge your balance, maybe you release your arms. Two more times. Take it down, two, and lift. One more time. Take it down, two, and lift. This time, take it down to your bottom level, whatever that might be. Keep your heels pressing together. Come up one inch and back down. Say good morning to your thighs. One inch, especially your quadriceps. Woo! All right, here we go. You've got four more. You've got four. Maybe your body's shaking a little bit. Muscles are saying, what are you doing to me? It's been a while. Hold it down, pulse it up, up, up. Good, give me four more. Here's four, three, two, rise all the way up, and then drop your heels. Grab hold of your weights. Again, light weights. I just have two pound weights in my hands. Come back into your first position. Raise your arms to a V. So you don't want your arms out wide. You don't want them in front. Just a natural V out of your body. And then lower back down. Here we go. For eight, seven, nice slow controlled movement. Remember, you don't have to use weights at all. It's just an option for you. Or go grab those cans of beans out of your pantry, or maybe two water bottles. On the next one, hold them up, flip your arms, elbows shoulder height, go ahead and push overhead. Easy shoulder press. Elbows come back down about shoulder height. Four more right here. It's four. Still squeezing into your center, so the legs are still engaged. On the next one, hold it up at the top, turn your palms to face each other, bend your elbows to 90 degrees. So check here, I should, you should be able to see your elbows out of your peripheral vision. You don't want them out wide, pull them in. And give me eight tricep skull pressures, or tricep presses. You've got four more right here. Here's four, three, two, one more time, hold it up. Bring your arms safely down by your side. Turn your feet to parallel. Bend at the knees, hinge at the waist. So we're right here. Take your hands back around your hips, pull your stomach in. Go ahead and just give me an easy press back. So you're still working into your triceps. A little bit of the back of your shoulder. Give me four, three, two, one more time. Hold it back and just give me a little 
tempo press for eight, seven, six, five, good, here's four, three, two, and one. Excellent, bring your arms down. Take your left foot under your left hip and take your right leg back. So now we're gonna challenge our balance a little bit. Long spine, soften into the left knee, so load into your left glute, hinge at the waist, go ahead and lift your right leg up and hold. And now add a row here for eight, seven, six. If you need to, you can always put your right foot down. Four, three, two. Maintain that neutral spine. Hold the arms down. If your leg was up, squeeze your glutes. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Keeping your hips nice and square, not trying to go way high. Tighten your right buttock sheet. Lengthen long through the right foot. Toes are pointed. Give me two more. One more time, up and hold and pulse it here for eight, seven, six. You've got four, three, last two, and one. Excellent, bring your feet back together in your first position. This time, releve up. So now we're challenging the balance. Heels pressing together, same arms. Thumbs on top of the weight, and give me that V. Eight times. Keep squeezing, keep lifting. Stay lengthened through the whole body throughout the exercise. You have two more. Good. One more. Let's take it up and hold it up. Flip the arms again, bend the elbows, and press overhead for eight. So the more you practice this, especially as it pertains to your balance, you know the better you're going to get. So never any pressure to be perfect. Just always working on progress. Let's hold it up at the top. Turn your palms to face each other. Bend your elbows again to the 90 degrees and give me eight tricep skull crushers. You've got four more. Three, exhaling as you push. Two, one more time, hold it up and then bring your arms down, safely lower your heels. Once again, working into the back of the arms, feet are parallel, bend at the knees and hinge at the waist. Remember, hinging at the waist is not rounding in the back, right? So your back is nice and long. Simply hinge at the waist, arms are back. We press up and lower. Lift and lower, good, lift and lower. So you wanna keep a neutral spine. I know I'm turning towards you just to kinda of take a look at you and see if you're doing it right. But you really do wanna make sure your body's always maintaining its integrity through alignment. Hold it up and let's pulse it. Eight, seven, six, Good, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, arms come down, transition your weight now to the right leg, send your left leg back. So you want that right knee bent so you're loading into your right glute muscle. You can lift your left leg up if you like and give me your eight rows. Squeezing a little bit through your back. Good, two more. One more time, hold your arms down. Again, take your left leg and really contract through that thigh. Go ahead, tap and lift for eight, seven. Here's six, you've got four more. Here's four. Take it up, let's hold it up and pulse it at the top for eight, seven, four, three, two, and one, good work. Release the weights down. Grab a little hydration. You're gonna have to stay hydrated. And let's come into our first position again. So feet are turned out. Remember, it's a natural turnout. They're together, then just turn them out. To go into second position, take your left leg out, big toe on the floor, and drop your heels. Now, as you plie here, it may feel like a very short plie. So I like to take mine a little bit wider, so it's more of an athletic or fitness plie. Same thing applies as it did in first position. So as you plie down and up, you wanna be sure that your tailbone is going to the floor, shoulders relaxed and down, and you're focusing straight ahead. So we don't wanna have heads down here. You may look down initially to make sure your knees are going out over the middle of your foot. Two more plies right here. Let's add on as we did before. Plie, heels lift, 
releve, heels down. Plie, heels, releve. And you can add those same arms. Plie, heels, releve, and down. Plie, heels, releve, and down. Plie, heels, releve, or new arms. Plie, heels, releve. One more time. Plie, heels, let's reverse it. Releve, plie, heels down, and straighten. Releve, plie, hello Riley. Releve, meet Riley, my beautiful lab. Releve, plie, heels down, and straighten. Releve, plie, heels down, and straighten. Two more, releve, plie, heels down. One more, releve, plie, heels down, and straighten. Come to your best plie. Bring your hands to your heart center, thumbs against your sternum. I want you to really think again about pulling back through your knees, reaching your knees to the wall or air behind you, tailbone is to the floor, shoulders relaxed and down. Go ahead and lift and lower your heels. Now, I'm facing the chair, so you can always put your hands on the chair here, or if you're still facing sideways, you're right here, or hands to your heart center balance yes always working on balance let's take our heels up and hold drop an inch come up an inch for eight seven are you shaking I am six five yeah it's four three second good morning to your quads two and one come all the way up and just shake it off a little bit let's grab our weights again Grabbing the weights, focusing just now on your shoulders. So, you can bring your feet back to your first position if you'd like, thumbs on top. Take your arms to that V that we did before, but now we're gonna slow down the movement. In four, three, two, lower your arms for four. Three, two, and one. You go up, two, hold for two, and lower four, three, two, and one, we take it up. Two, hold, two, settle the shoulders down and lower very slowly, lowering on the negative, right? Up, two, isometric hold right here, settle down, lower four, three, two, and one. Let's do four more, up, two, and hold, lower, four, three. So there's a reason we have really light weights, right? It starts to get tiring the more reps you do and the slower you do your movement. No need to have heavy weights. Up, two, for nice toned arms. And lower with good control. One more time. Up, two, hold, lower slowly. Excellent, let's add some balance to that. So bring your feet parallel. Go ahead and lift your left knee up. Left knee up, find your balance. Right arm forward, left arm left. So frontal lateral raise and lower back down. Here we go. Give me eight, eight, seven. So we're working around the entire shoulder complex to bring it toning and strength. How's that balance working for you? Are you good? If you need to put your toe down, you simply put your toe down. Give me two more. Up and hold. Give me one inch up and lower. Now notice my elbows are slightly soft never locking out the joint, but let the shoulders do all the work. We have nice sexy shoulders as we enter into our swimsuit season. Two more, well it's really swimsuit season, 365 days here, right? One more time, lower it all the way down, lower your foot down. Good, let's bring up your right knee. Notice my right toes are pointed, Left arm, right arm to the right, left arm forward, and lower back down. Here we go. Let's do 10 of them. Now notice too that one leg might be easier than the other to balance on. And that's okay. Give yourself permission to be okay and imbalanced because we are. Right side, left side. One side's bigger than the other. One side's better balanced. One side's stronger. But you already knew that. Up and hold. Hold it up. One inch up and back down. One inch. And down, good. Four more like this. How are you doing? Whew. You got two more. Good, one more time. 
Excellent. Lower back down, lower your feet down. Bring your feet back to that first position. Bring your arms up, elbows, shoulder height, full range like we did before for eight. Last two. Last one, hold it shoulder height. Give me one inch, one inch up and lower. One inch up, so it's not a pulse. It's just a one inch hold and lower. Good, one inch hold and lower. Excellent, one inch hold and lower. Let's do four more, here we go. Four, you feeling anything yet? I am. If you are, say I am. Let's hold it right here, now you pulse. Pulse at eight, seven. Six, five, give me four, three, two, and one, and release your arms down. Just roll those shoulders up, back, and down, and release the weights. If you have a softball, go ahead and grab it. If you don't, no worries. You can also take a towel behind your knee if you wanted to, or something so you can feel a little bit of the squeezing. If you have a ball, I want you to take it behind your right knee. I want you to stand on your left leg, Soften the left knee and bring your legs together. So like your inner thighs are glued together, knees are touching. Left knee again is soft, so you're loading and stabilizing through your left hip. Go ahead and lift and lower your right leg. So if I turn my side to you, it looks like this. You wanna squeeze right into your right buttocks. Remember, it's not a quick movement like this. You wanna squeeze and lower, squeeze, and lower. Let's do four more singles. Three, two, up and hold, pulse it. Three, two, one, and lower. Do a check on your body, make sure that knee hasn't slipped forward ahead of the left leg yet. You wanna keep it in alignment, you get more out of it that way into your right glute. You've got four more, here's three pulses, and a release, good, three pulses. Excellent, two more times, one more time. Take it up, pulse it only, pulse it eight, seven, six, five, give me four, three, two, and one. Take that ball out, take that ankle on top of the other, and face the chair and just have a seat. Notice that you're stretching right into the area that you should have just felt working. If you didn't feel that, we need to make a correction, right? All right, stand it up, shake it off. Go ahead and take the ball now behind your left knee and point your foot, inner thighs touch. So you always wanna make sure you have that set up before you add and start your movement. Go ahead, lift and lower. So what's it look like if you don't have a ball? So let's say I don't have the ball. You can still lift and lower, right? No different. I'm still squeezing into my glute. Nice and tight. The ball just adds a little extra to the entire leg, honestly, right? So if I'm squeezing into it, I'm having to activate my hamstrings, the back of my thigh a little bit as well. Let's hold it up, pulse it up. Pulse it three, two, one. Now make sure your right knee is nice and soft, right? So you don't want to stand locked out on that right side. Part of it is because as you, again, keep a soft right leg, your standing leg, you're feeling that glute as well. Let's do three more like this on the left leg. Good. One more time. Let's take it up and pulse only. Pulse it eight, seven, six, five, give me four. Three rock solid glutes everybody and one. Release the ball. Again take your left ankle on your right thigh and just sit down. Get a nice little stretch there. Excellent, and release. Pick up your weights. Let's get back into your upper body. Hope you're feeling nice and strong. We're gonna work into your back. So the first thing I want you to do is double up on the weights if you have them. Take your right hand onto the chair, bend your knees, again, hinge at the waist, right? So we're not rolling, we're just hinging. And just give me a, a row. So as you row, you're squeezing through your latissimus muscle. So that's that long muscle that runs underneath your arm all the way down to your hip. So you're not just simply lifting and lowering. 
you want to make sure you're wrapping the elbows slightly back around you so you can feel the work. Let's do eight more right here. Here's eight, seven, six, good, last four, last three, last two, and one. Excellent. Let's switch sides. So carefully switch the weights or the cans or the water bottles, whatever you might have, or nothing at all. No big deal if you don't have anything at all. And you take it in your other hand, and you're going to row. All right. So same idea. So I'm going to turn and face the other way. If you don't have your chair there, you can take your opposite hand onto your thigh. You don't want to be suspended, so you don't want to have your back in any kind of a compromised position. Always support yourself. Let's do eight more right here. Stomach's pulled in and up. Long spine. Form does matter. And if you've taken my classes before, you know that. Give me two more. And one more, excellent. Let's take a weight in each hand for our back flies. Now, let's take your feet parallel and about hip distance apart, hinge at the waist. A back fly looks like this, right? So the cue, is that the back of my hands are going to the wall behind me. I'm hinged at the waist again, and as my arms come back, my shoulder blades are squeezing together. Just like you were trying to crack a nut between your shoulder blades. Let's do four more right here. Here's four, three, two, up and hold, Little pulses back, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, and one, and release down. Release the weights, hands on the back of the chair, round through the back, and just stretch it out a little bit. Excellent. And release. Let's take another sip of our water. All right, back into your lower body. Last exercise we're going to be doing on your chair. I want you to take forearm over forearm, and then your forehead is going on your forearms. So notice I have a nice long spine right here. Again, I'm not rounding, I'm kind of lengthening. And I'm going to stop in my left knee and take my right leg back. Big toe only tapping onto the floor. Lift and tap, lift, and tap. Now your options, if you don't have a chair that's as high as mine, maybe it's a little bit lower, and that's fine. Sometimes you can put your hands on the seat so you're actually leaned over like this, doing it, can't do it so much on this chair because it's so high. It's the perfect height for bar, I have to say. So remember on this, you're lengthening long, you're squeezing through your right quadricep, so you can lengthen the leg. Let's take it up this time and hold it up, pulse it, three, two, one, and tap. So by now you should see a pattern with our movements, right? We start with single counts, then we go to pulsing and a tap, and then I finish it off with pulsing. So all different tempos, keep the body surprise at what you're going to do next. Let's do two more. Good. One more time. Make sure you're not arching through the back and take it up and hold and pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Stand up and take a moment, right? So your standing leg probably got a little tired, right? That's okay, because what's happening again is you're stabilizing through the hip joint. If your knee was bent, you're loading again into your glutes. We always want to work on strengthening our glutes, because those are the muscles that help you stand up, right? All right, let's come back to the other side. Again, forearm over forearm, very important, forehead on your forearms. I'm softening my right leg, left leg back, lift and lower. Long spine, stomach pulled in and up really reach like you could send your left leg back doesn't have to go high you don't want to see yourself going high like this and whipping into your lower back if at any time your lower back's bothering you do a body check 
Think about your form. Let's take your left leg back, pulse it three, two, one, and lower. Pulse three, two, one, and lower. Good, pulse three, two, and lower. Pulse. Let's do four more right here. Here we go, pulse three, two, one, and tap. Again, pulse three, two, one, and tap. Last two, last one. Hold it up, pulse only. Pulse eight, seven, six. Give me four. And one, excellent. Release down and stand it up. Holding on again, round through the back. Or if you don't have that chair for your stabilizing, just go ahead and do like a big, nice cat stretch with your hands on your thighs. And release and do that again, tucking the tailbone under. Good, and round it up. Last little bit of upper body. Let's get into our triceps a little bit. Grab hold of your weights. All right, again, feet parallel and about hip distance apart. Soften your knees, hinge at the waist. Take your elbows high. Tricep kickbacks right here. Now remember, you're not swinging through the shoulders. You're just bending and extending through the elbows. Slow it down two counts. Take it back. Two and bend. Two. Take it back. Two and bend. Again, we push it back. Two. Maintaining that long spine, stomach pulled in and up. Four more right here. Bend it and extend it. Good. Here's three. Here's two. One more time. Let's take it to that 90 degree, degree bend. Give me an inch and release, an inch, and release, an inch, release. Small movement, no swinging from the shoulders for four, three, two, and one little press as we go for eight, seven, six, good, here's four, three, two, and one, and stand it straight up, very nice, release the weights. Take a nice deep inhale up, reach all the way up, bend your left elbow, pat yourself on the back for a nice job, well done. Stretching out your shoulder and stretching out your tricep. Then just go ahead and switch your arms, bend through the right elbow. You go ahead and bring your right arm across, shoulder down, left arm just kind of braces through either at your forearm, so you can bring it up to your shoulder, a little more intense stretch through your right shoulder. And then bring it to the other side. Again, make sure your left shoulder's down, away from your ears, your ear. Hopefully you don't have two ears on your left side. And then release. Let's get into your hips a little bit and stretch those out. So go ahead and take your right foot forward, your left leg back, and drop your left knee. So both knees have actually bent. Take your left hip and just push it forward. Nice big stretch through the front side of your leg. Bring your left arm all the way up and just hinge over towards your right. So if I'm facing you, it's going to look like this. And then switch, other side. So now your left leg is back. Sorry, your right leg. Bend into your left, reach your arm all the way up and hinge over. So again, I'm facing you. Reach it up and hinge to your left. Big stretch through the entire right side. And then bring your hand back down. Bring your feet together. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Shoulders roll up, back. That's part of the workout right here, right? Let the head roll around. Reverse it. Shake it out. You are good to get on with your day, everybody. Thank you for being with me. Keep safe, keep well, and we'll see you soon.